if I fight Will I come to life Calling for all your light Giving all my heart to you I've been falling, I've been lost And I've been calling on my ghosts I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home Oh Good morning beautiful people! Good morning everyone! As you probably noticed, we are not in Lucky Land anymore We are somewhere else But let's start from the beginning we are leaving Torino. We are on the highway. It's already 7 p.m. but it's okay because during the evening, during the night it's not so warm. So it's the perfect time to, to drive. We will be on the road for five hours. We are going to my daddy. It's more than one year since oh, yeah. Sara saw her dad last time. So it's a really emotional moment uh, now yes because i seen my brother i've seen my mom now my dad is missing some of you asked me in the live stream or in the video if i have both of my parents yes i have they are still alive they are healthy they are okay mm, just my my dad as, as as well as my mom they don't speak english so sometimes it's difficult to have an interaction with them in the videos. They follow us because we are the two of us, otherwise it's too difficult. I'm trying to convince my dad to start learning English. He speaks German, but English just a few words. And I'm really happy. We are going to my hometown, Nerano, in South Tyrol. I can't wait to, to show you around. For now, I think we fix uh, the van. Yeah. We hope so, because uh, it could be other two electrical parts, uh, but uh, we just uh, change one, uh, hoping that is the right one. Uh, it could be other two. So we will discover. We have uh, about five hours driving uh, from uh, Torino to Merano, so we will discover if it's working or not. <laughs> Okay guys, we are changing some uh, tires uh, and I will see how to use the spare tire so if we have any flat tires it's really important to know your vehicle, to know how to change your spare tire we have it under the, the van so I will learn underneath, yes, underneath. Okay. This afternoon we want to see some, some wood wood shop. We would like to see what is the best option to start our conversion. We have some limits in this van. Now let's change the tires. We know that when you have a vehicle that is prepared and it's okay then you will have less problems on the road and this is what we have learned the hard way with luxury. Like it's good to take it off uh, so the rust uh, will go away and in case uh, we have a flat tire on the road uh, I know that all the things we have the right tools uh, we have everything to change our wheel our tire on the road we are here with uh, Salvatore he's uh, showing me how to do it that, and Salvatore in English uh, it means the the, the person uh, who saves you, the savior, <laughs> literally in, uh, in English, uh, Salvatore, that's the meaning of the name. Guarda che nuova! Sì, questo è ancora imperio attaccante. In Italian, nuova means new and vecchia means old. So this tire, this spare tire, this spare tire is new, is nuova. <laughs> Done. It's time for a change. I will be blonde again. 
I'm doing everything by myself. It has been more than two years that I didn't see my hairdresser in Milan. So I hope that she will be proud of me. I don't know, probably she will kill me. I am a step number one. Now the hair, I try to, to make a natural effect. And then I'm loving this product. It's not a sponsor, just if you want to try to do the hair yourself. Redken shades. It's like an equalizing conditioner color. It lasts two months. I will mix the shades, so I will just get to the natural effect that I would like to, to reach. Two shades will be for this area and two shades will be for the blonde area. Here, so this is step number one. I will rinse my hair, you see? Yes. Nice blonde. I help her yes. doing the part uh, back here where she cannot see. Yes. And I will be helping her. Yeah. In the My assistant. Yes, I'm the assistant. If it's for working, this. it's just so worth it because you know the especially when you're doing blonde hair, hairdresser could be really expensive. So if we will do this, we are just if it work out, yes. uh, this will be Perfect solution on the road. Yes, well. and for the future. With a bathroom, of course. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, uh, we are back here at Salvatore uh, Garage. Uh, you might remember it uh, when we came uh, to get uh, our van, uh, when we came back to Italy. And um, it's really cool because uh, I'm having some a little issues uh, with the with the van and uh, Salvatore is teaching me how to fix it by myself so it's really cool this is uh, his way to support us uh, and uh, it's really good for me because I don't need to pay the, the labor I just pay for the parts uh, and I'm learning to fix my own vehicle and uh, learning uh, more and more about my vehicle so if uh, something happens uh, I'm able to fix it by myself now we are changing a sensor the problem is that I'm, I'm losing uh, power. The, the light of uh, the engine uh, is not working. It goes on and it cuts the power. The engine is doing something really strange. have to fix it. This is the old one and this is the new one. Let's hope that this will fix our van. You miss the mechanic environment, you know, yes, you miss yes. luckily you having troubles. I like to, no, I don't miss <laughs> it so much but I like to, you know, to be able to understand uh, how the engine works and, and uh, do all these things. It's really important. It's important uh, to have knowledge of how your van works and how you are able to fix it. I love knowing these things. You have 10 minutes. Let's go. This is Milan. <laughs> okay guys, if you have to cross Milan, even just on the toll road, the autobahn, in Italian we say autostrada, and we have all over Italy are these uh, toll roads. Even if you just have to pass through Milan outside on the toll road, this is what you get. It's always like this, no matter always. what day it is, uh, no matter what hour it is. Uh. I lived in Milan for seven years. And when I was working, even just doing 10 kilometers every day, I spent two, three, four hours in the car every day. So it's really annoying. I don't know if you know Italy a little bit, but the toll roads, the highways here in Italy are pretty expensive. Super expensive. <laughs> and also the fuel, no matter if it's a uh, regular fuel or diesel, yeah. both of them are really expensive. Diesel, we are talking about uh, 1 euro and uh, 25 cents uh, for 1 liter of diesel and about uh, 1 euro and uh, 50 or 1 euro 60 for uh, a liter of yeah, uh, regular fuel. So it's one, crazy. One gallon is 3.78 
liters. So you just need to think about 1.40 by 4. You know, it's 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 kind of 6 euro a gallon. Yeah. From Torino to South Tyrol to, to Bolzano to Merano, we will pay around 50 euro, 40 euro, something like this. So back and forth, it's it's, it's expensive, you know. If you if you think about the gas, if you think about the highway, moving around in Italy, if you want to go like fast and you want to take the and drive on the toll roads, it's expensive. If you want to take all the little roads then it will take forever. Good luck go. with that. <laughs> Good, luck. <laughs> Good luck. And also here in Italy, if you if you are not going on the highway, you 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 will have a lot of radars. So it's uh, this kind of machines. I don't know the exactly the name in English, but if you are going over the speed limit, they will take a picture and here in Italy they are really 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 bad. It's super expensive, they fine and they will take your uh, driver license uh, and you will not be able to drive anymore and they are really really restrict yeah and then you go in Rome or you go in Milan and people they drive like crazy it's pretty dangerous to drive in Italy so but we are used to we are used to Italy we're used to Central and South America so no worries we know how to drive on dangerous roads we are used to drive in the jungle, <laughs> in the cement jungle. Yeah, Look at this. A, this is a different type of jungle. Still four hours to go. I can't wait to see my daddy. Daddy Remo. He will be sleeping when we arrive there? Yeah, or? I think so because he will he will work tomorrow. If it's, if it's Saturday, I will show you tomorrow where he works and this is the new activity is a new job after he retire he doesn't want to stay you know at home and getting bored so he said okay I will start this new adventure and uh, he starts working really early in the morning he wake up at 5 in the morning uh, to go to work so that's why when we will arrive there about uh, 11 p.m. midnight uh, probably he will be sleeping already yeah but we will see him tomorrow <gasps> Just like this, we are in Merano. Wow! We are pretty tired, it's midnight. But we are here, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Ciao, driver. Good night. It was really early in the morning. We woke up uh, because before uh, Sarah's father We'll go to work. We wanted to say hi. Sarah wanted to say hi to her father. It's more than one year they don't see each other. And uh, these paints here, Sarah made them. So let's see. Let's wait for uh, Sarah's father and see the encounter. Yeah, Are you yeah. excited? Yes, of course. Yeah, oh, he, I can. I can wait. When he will come out of the toilet, all nice and ready to go out, we'll be here waiting for him. Nice surprise. So nice to be back home, guys. It's it's a really I don't know. It's it's a feeling that I cannot explain. Sometimes there are no words to explain a feeling, a moment. But you know the colors, the the smell of this house, my room with all the memories so it's, it's really nice <laughs> Good morning beautiful people, we are at um, Sara's father house here in Merano Yeah, I'm so excited And now we will go and visit him Yes Let's go. We will take you with us. I'm 
unfortunately it's raining today so we would like to show you a market from all the farmers that there is only on Saturday you see but all the people are going away yeah because it's raining you see we have cheese uh, vegetables. vegetables fruit honey everything directly from the, the farmers farm. here in this area and we are going to see my daddy he works at a cafe in the center of Merano Bar Claudio Bar Claudio so if you happen to come here in Merano South Tyrol just go and say hello to my dad at Bar Claudio and drink the best coffee of Merano and eat the best tartine of Merano <laughs> of course sponsor video bye <laughs> All the plaques we got. Yeah, you have to keep the distance and uh, you, you should wear the mask uh, and you uh, put all the, the plexiglass. Wow. <laughs> this is my ben. daddy. Ah, uh, very nice. Eh? It's a wonderful day today, come sempre. <laughs> My dad knows just this sentence. It's a wonderful day today. Uh, simple day. Eh? Orange juice. Orange juice. Pack. And two sandwiches. And coffee. Okay, you see this was the city center of Merano. In the medieval era there were four doors and the city was protected by these walls. It's amazing now they just restore this... Uh... This is called Castello Principesco. And we are just a uh, few steps from uh, Bar Claudio. If you take this Cecil lift, I don't know the name in English, you go to Tirolo, to the mountain. Rainy day, we will not be able to go there for the hike. But they are saying that tomorrow will be the best day of the year. Speaking about weather. Maybe there are leaves. Sejovia. How do you call this in Lift. English? Lift? We have all the names first in German and then in Italian here. The name on, on the signs. So everything is bilingual. And even at school, if you are Italian, every, everyone is Italian here, but if your mother tongue is Italian, your second language is German. And if you are German mother tongue, your second language is Italian. So it's it's really a multicultural environment. Uh, that's why I grew up speaking also and learning German. Here everything looks like Austria more than Italy. And it's kind of a, a jewel in the middle of the mountains because everything here is working fine. The quality of the life is really good, high quality. Yes. Everybody's working and the system is working well. The laws are working pretty well. So I grew up in a very special place. Everything is clean. Yes. Everything is kind of perfect, uh, yeah. nice. Now everybody knows this area. South Tyrol is kind of famous right now, but when I was younger, I said, ah, you know, I come from Meran. And they say, where is Merano? I say, South Tyrol. And where is South Tyrol? I was missing a little bit of life. I was dreaming to go and to live in Milan, you know, the big city, in the bustle and hustle, and not stay here in this quiet town. But now everything changed. Let's go back home for lunch. And I think today we will relax together with my daddy. We will play games. Yes. We will have dinner together, spend, spend some time together, you know, after more than one year. I would like to sit down with him and talk about our future projects and talk about our experience, our expedition in South America, in old America. I'm singing in, in the, the rain. rain. <laughs> Just singing in the rain. Good evening. Good evening, beautiful people. And after a rainy day and a hot tub, <laughs> yeah, and we are finally 
in the bed uh, ready to go to sleep. Yeah, and the Italian words for today are Famiglia, Family, Casa, Home, Amore, Love, Famiglia, Family, Casa, Home, Amore, Love. And with this beautiful word that it's love, we will say goodbye to you guys because tomorrow we will take you yeah, along adventure. with us. Yeah, an adventure in a beautiful place. So remember that we love you guys, we appreciate you and thank you for coming along with us. If you like the video, please show it to us with a big <laughs> thumbs up. And please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's for free. It's really easy. Just click on the subscribe button and please remember to turn on the notification so you will receive an email every time we will upload and we will post a video. All right. See you on the next one, beautiful people. La vita bella. Life is beautiful. I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home. Oh, because I'm coming home, coming home I'm coming home